Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ayabad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai has commanded. And today's lesson is going to be another spiritual read. Okay, uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 14. Okay, um, I'm going to read this chapter. It's a short chapter. Okay, um, it's uh, it only has seven verses, and um, through the spirit, we know. You know, seven represents the number of completion. Okay? So, um, we're going to read this chapter real quick. Okay? Uh, to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. And whatever precepts come to mind, to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. And we're going to get those precepts through the spirit. And um, Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. So, this is the book of Psalms, the 14th chapter, beginning at verse 1. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Right now, it says, The fool had said in his heart, There is no God. Right? The fool had said in his heart, There is no God. Right? Now, we know there is such a thing called atheists people who don't believe in the Heavenly Father, the Most High, who created the heaven and the earth. Right? But we know they're going to know that there is the true power. His name is Yahweh. And they're going to know that he exists. Okay, that's what his name means. Okay, uh, Yahweh. Yah means he. Hawa means exists. To be. Okay. He is. All right. All right. He is. All right. Um, real quick, let me turn off this notification. Didn't realize it was uh, still uh, on. Real quick, let me do that. It happens from time to time. Be trying to move quick sometime when I'm on my lunch break. I'll forget to turn it off. But uh they're gonna take a quick second and we can get back to it. Okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, reading on again, it says uh the fool had said in his heart, there is no God. Right? It says they are corrupt and have done abominable works. There is none that do it good, right? So you ain't got, if you don't believe there's, you, you ain't got no good works, man. You're a reprobate if you think the Most High doesn't exist. When he is, all right? From the ancient of days, all right? No, 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 no beginning of time, no ending of time. He created time, all right? All powerful, the sovereign, the sov the sovereign Lord, okay? You see? He is. He exists, he to be. From ancient of days, the heavenly father, Yahweh, creator of the heaven and the earth. All right? So, at the end of the day, we know he, he is, man. All powerful, the almighty. Okay? Yahweh. All right? Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know? And he gave us his begotten son. All right? Who came to this earth to give remission of sin to, to the nation of Israel, man. Okay? The elect at this time. So, reading on, it says, verse 2. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men, right, to see if there were any that did understand and seek the Most High. Okay, now we know that three classification of men, all right, the sons of God, right, the sons of men, which are the other nations, all right, and the sons of the wicked man. Okay. But it says, the Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek the Most High. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that do it good. No, not one. Okay? Scriptures tell you that. Uh, the Lord himself even said, why call it me thou good? All right? 
but there's no, there was there was uh, there was only one <laughs> that is good. That's that's the heavenly Father, man. Okay, but we know how when the Lord when when the Lord came to the earth, uh, he, he sinned not. Okay, but when the Lord was uh, sacrificed, um, he um, he uh, what's the term I'm trying to use here? He uh. I believe he used the word uh, uh, he prayed I want to say he prayed for he gave uh, for his for his for his sin first which was when he was a Solomon okay and then for the people I think that's in the book of Hebrews somewhere I'm just forgetting how it's worded Salakia but um, yeah the Lord said that why call it me thou good okay because the scriptures say uh, uh, we all fall short of the glory, right? We all fall short of the glory. So, like I was saying, now we know when the Lord walked the earth as a man, He sinned not. Okay. Um, reading on, it says, verse four: Have all the workers of iniquity, of all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who ate up my people as they ate bread and call not upon the Lord yeah these other nations man these different captivities what we, what, 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 what we was in man okay and it's because we transgress against the Lord the Lord put other nations over us man alright to this very day we are under the curses of the book of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter man from the 15th verse on down to the uh, 68th verse you know, but the Lord says He's gonna uh, have mercy on Israel. He's gonna choose Israel. Okay, roughly paraphrasing Isaiah fourteen and verse one, chapter fourteen, verse one. Okay, verse five says, uh, "There were they in great fear, for Yahweh is in the generation of the righteous." Right. The Lord is the hope of His people, man. Okay, the scriptures tell you how the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay, the Lord tell you how he's going to help and he's going to deliver uh, uh, his elect, man. Those that are predestinated before the foundation of the world. Those whom the Lord have chosen, you know. I do pray that I'm a part of that number. I do pray for the, for, for the light-minded brothers, beginning with the elders on down. Uh, the women that believe. Okay, and believe in this truth and believe in uh, the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Those that are turning to the Lord with a whole heart and, and, and repenting daily. Okay. Those that are of the elect. Okay. Um, so the Lord is, the Lord take care of his people, you know. A precept for that is um, Sirach, the second chapter. Okay, right about the 10th verse, where it speaks about whoever called upon the name of the Lord that was forsaken. As a matter of fact, let me go to it real quick. Um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Arrakis, chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom... Did he ever despised that call upon him? See? You see? The scriptures tell you how the Lord is nigh. Okay? The Lord is nigh to such be of a broken heart and a contrite spirit. So you have to come before the Lord humble and lowly. You know? The Lord loves an, a, a, an underdog. The poor. Okay? He deal with his poor, man. Those that are meek. All right, this is um, Psalm chapter 34, uh, verse 17. It says, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivered him out of them all. And the word, the point is all. So the Lord is going to take care of his people every time, man. Alright? 
especially if he was a part of the elect. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna preserve you. Okay, so going back to Psalms chapter fourteen. All right, we have verse. Uh, I'll read five again. It says there. It says uh, they were there in great fear, for Yahweh is the generation of the righteous. So like for Yahweh is in the generation of the righteous. Read now in verse six. It says, "Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge." Okay, the Lord is the refuge of the poor man. You see. Verse 7 says, Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. Right? The salvation of Israel is going to come out of Zion because Yahweh Shai, he's from the tribe of Judah. And the scriptures tell you how the Lord is going to send a savior and a great one, Isaiah the 19th chapter. That's Yahweh Shai. And it tells you in uh, Isaiah 31, okay, verse 5, how as birds flying will the Lord defend Jerusalem. Okay? And defend it, passing over it, he will preserve it. Roughly paraphrasing. He says, that, oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. When Yahweh bring it back the captivity of his people, right? And that's, 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 that's these times that we're in right now. The Lord is slowly, okay, uh, bringing back our captivity, man. You know, we're not in hardcore and antebellum slavery. Like, like one time with yokes around our neck, okay? We got a little more breathing, wriggling room right now, even though we're not still free because we still have uh, nations that rule over us. But you can see from where we were to where we is now that the Lord is working with us, okay? He turning back our captivity as we speak, uh, as I speak, okay? And it's going to come to the point where you're truly free, you know, when your Shah returns, okay, and subjugate nations, all right, and, 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 and change and change his people into another fashion, man, twinkling of an eye, Okay? Where are you going to be those true judges and rulers and gods of the earth? Joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion, when the Lord bring it back the captivity of his people, who is people, who is people, the saints, the Israelites. All right? It says, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Right? We're going to rejoice and we're going to be glad because now we're going to have rest. We ain't going to have to no longer go to work every day, seven days a week, and all of this stuff. Be tired. Okay, fatigue. Okay, eating abominable, uh, not not abominable foods, but um, salakia, uh, 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 GMO foods. All right, and in some cases you do eat abominable foods because you don't know, you don't even know what they be putting in the food sometimes. Not that not of you, not of your own knowing, because if you know, you're not gonna do it. But sometimes you you, you don't you don't even where you get your food cooked, they don't they don't they don't they don't separate where they cook the chicken from where they cook pork. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the, this is this is this is Babylon, man. Okay, this is why we need to be delivered. Okay, you see, you ain't gonna have to worry about these things. We're gonna rejoice and we're gonna be glad because we're gonna know, we know we're gonna have clean air, no more chemtrails, we're gonna have clean water, no more fluoride in the water. Okay, all right, we ain't gonna be drinking from plastic and shit, man. So we're going to be rejoicing because true wisdom is going to be in the earth, true beginning with our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? And the nation's going to come to us to learn of his law, statutes, and commandments. All right? So at the end of the day, yes, we're going to rejoice because we're going to be in rulership and we're going to live forever because the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be in our inward parts. All right? And we're going to have dominion over the whole earth, man. So yes, we're going to rejoice. Okay, yes, we're going to praise the Lord and glorify and magnify his name every chance given. So we have every reason to rejoice. So, yeah, this has been Psalms, the 14th chapter, to the Spirit. 11, uh, 33, call the Lord. I'm like, Yahweh Bashim I'm going to end the video there, giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakaku Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say, Shalom. Until the next time, Shalom.